everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna try and reorganise all of my script stickers. I did reorganise my characters, my kits, um, my foil, my washi, like quite a lot of, well, all of my palette supplies basically about a week ago and I left my scripts because I wanted to order these like loose binder rings and I had to wait for them to arrive. I just got these from Amazon, I will link them down below, but they are 1.8 inches in diameter, I think. It's about four and a half centimeters, if I'm remembering correctly. And I've seen Helen from the Coffee Monsters Co. use this method to organize her characters, and I thought it would work for my scripts. I mean, I might end up splitting them across two. I'm not sure like how chunky it will get, but I'm hoping that this helps me like find them easier because I won't have to go through my albums. I should be able to like just flick through in theory. I don't know if I'm gonna like this method, but I'm just gonna give it a go because I can't think of anything else. I don't wanna put them in albums, but yeah, we're gonna see. So I've got this um, hole punch from Fiskars. It's actually a really big hole. Um, I saw Tilly's video where she had quite a small hole and she struggled to get the sheets through. I think my hole's really big, but I, yeah, I'm just gonna get started. <laughs> I'm probably gonna speed through quite a lot of this. I do need to organize them first so that they're in some kind of like sensical order. I'm thinking I might try and mimic the order of my character album. So this is all my like icons and characters and stuff. And I used the tabs that I've got for my reusable dividers to label them. So I might go like work, it's all work stuff at the front, so I might start with work and then go to like appointments or maybe I'll just do it in like most used. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna decide what my method will be and jump to when I've decided, so maybe you'll see this better. So I've decided I'm organizing into like, uh, well, I've got like work, cleaning, coffee. These are like hobbies and uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like things that I'm gonna use like less frequently, but are not work. These are things that I don't think I'm gonna actually use enough to want them on my binder ring. And then this is like, uh, like frequently used routine things, I guess. Um, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Although I may end up like splitting this into more like defined categories because it started out being very specific and now it's just like every everything I do that doesn't work. <laughs> so I might need to change that. I've now got a feelings category, <laughs> so we'll just keep going. I suppose I can always reorder them though, like they're only being punched and then I can just like move them, so it's not a big deal. I probably need a planning category as well. I love that I've gone into this blind, like I didn't even think about the fact that I may need to put things in orders <laughs> and categories. I will literally won't use it. I'm gonna put it in like every day and hope that I just use that sheet. Singing lesson, I only need like one of them out and that can go in my every day, every day. And I'll put, this is like my, these will go into an album, I guess. Planner face, uh, mm, work I suppose, clean. This feelings category is very useful. Raccutane, oh, I don't need these anymore, but I don't wanna get rid of them because they're my custom. I guess get rid. Um, tiny foil, which needs to go into reusable album. Netflix, like hobby, food shop, every day, tidy, clean. So that really weird. Um, laundry is, I guess, cleaning. Maybe I should put laundry with that. 
Happy Mail would be, well, these are my foiled ones. Should I mix them in? I think so. And then I guess I'll do like smallest sheet to largest sheet so that I can see what's behind. Meal plan would be like chores. Maybe this should be chores, like home things. Hump day feelings, I suppose. Another happy meal. I'm gonna save that, wash hair. Uh, I definitely don't need that many of these. These can go with my singing script, which went in here, perhaps. Um, I don't need these in with my, maybe these can have like a separate render clip. I don't know why I have so many of these. I wish I could remember like what my plan was because why did I order them in so many different colors? And why are loads of them used? <laughs> like I don't remember. No spend. This is like routine. I didn't realize I already had a sheet on the go of these. So I'll use that one, put that one in storage, walk alley, coffee. Okay, so date dots, I think I'll put these all together at like the end. Singing, singing, definitely don't need this many singing stickers on the go, but more Zumba and clean the bathroom cleaning. Okay, so I have way less scripts than I thought, so I'm, I feel like something is wrong. <laughs> I definitely had loads more. These ones have not actually been allocated. I think I'm gonna go through my categories now and see if there's a way I can split them a little bit further. So these could be like, to be honest, they're all quite negative like feelings. So I guess that makes it easy. So now I'm gonna put my categories in like largest to smallest so that I can find the sheets a bit easier, I think. And if I put all my planner face ones at the back, that might help me like see where categories end. And I imagine I will just like punch the hole in the top. But yeah, I guess that's the one little pile. So cleaning, I think I can split this into cleaning, laundry, and just like other tasks. But I don't really have any other tasks at the minute. So I definitely had another laundry sticker in this pile that I need to find. Basically, this is like common every day and this is more infrequent but daily stuff. So Zumba I need, singing I need, let's put all the singing together, also all of the Ari stuff together, and the rabbits, wash hair, food shop, this is singing related, oh no, making such a mess. Zumba, Zumba. Random to do's. Delivery kind of doesn't need to be there. Wash hair. Payday. Laundry was going to go with the cleaning ones. I've got another Zumba which I'll just put away for now. Game night. Two water plants, which can go at the back. Skincare, I'm actually gonna put in this pile. Walk the dog needs to go with Ari. And I'm just gonna put birthday at the back. So skincare and me time are sort of similar. Netflix or Happy Mail go with delivery. I think group outing, family time kind of thing and also I've got a time with Tom. No spend can go with like, the budget. Animal Crossing, I am not going to put that in here. Organised stickers could have gone with the planning. Workout can go there. Zoom is just super random. Time with friends. YouTube binge go with Netflix. Movie night go with Netflix. Okay. Um, Bracket Park can just go in somewhere random. This sort of makes sense to me. 
And then these ones just have to go in their piles. So I've ended up with coffee, like household, every day, work, less frequently used every day, <laughs> planning, emotions, and then like date dots. This will just go at the back so I can find them quickly. So I think that is it for my categories and hopefully I'll remember like where everything is, but if not, I'll just move it around. So I think my next job is to just punch all the holes, which is gonna take me absolutely ages. So I'll either speed this up or we'll just do like a cut, but yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> So it's not that bad punching them. I expected it to be way worse. Um, the only thing is like, I haven't punched them equally from any side. So I'm gonna have to like manually put them on, with, but that's okay. The vinyl didn't like being punched either, but oh well. I just hope that the sheets like hold up over time and don't rip. That's the only problem I can foresee because my holes are pretty big. So this is how it looks at the minute. Let me find the middle. Let me find the beginning. There. So I do really like it so far, but let's finish the rest. I've finished my uh, binder organization. This is how it looks. It's actually not as thick as I was expecting it to be. I thought I would definitely need to use two coils and I've ended up just using one. Uh, binders, not coils. I don't know what you're actually supposed to call these. Index card rings, apparently. Um, but yeah, the only thing that is a little bit annoying, um, I thought it would maybe like be stopped by this um, join so that I would always know like where the back is but it doesn't it like completely goes through so when I flip through I can easily like join the first sheet with the back sheet and then like lose my order if that makes sense um, so I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on that and I might end up making myself little dividers like with card or like maybe laminated card or something just so that I know where my sections stop and the new one begins but I think it's gonna be useful um, I'm hoping that I will just be able to like flick through and easily find the scripts because I can see them and then over time I will learn the order and I'll be able to find what I want quicker in theory. <laughs> I will let you know um, how I got on using it because I'm going to try and do a plan with me soon using this method and I'll let you know if it's any faster or not but I think it must be quicker than albums like having to open the album and take the sheet in and out each time I think this must be better. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it's given you some inspiration for your own collection. But I am going to film an updated sticker organisation video soon with my entire collection so you can see how I have everything else stored. But yeah, this is just my scripts. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!